Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 on how to create your weapon skins for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. My name is Holandje and today we are going to be taking a look at how we can get rid of these annoying black marks on your weapon skin even though you don't intend them to be there. Uh, in this tutorial we will be using the Glock 18 as an example, however you can use any gun um, that you encounter this issue with. So for example the M4A4 has a pretty notorious one where there's this emblem that shows up just above the magazine. This tutorial will work on all these weapons, so just follow along with this tutorial, but choose M4A4 or your gun of choice instead of the Glock 18. So pretty much the problem that we're encountering here is that when we check out our pattern, we can see that we just chose a solid light blue color. However, when we check out in-game, we can see that there is this black detailing on there that we did not intend to have that there. While in most cases it can actually provide quite a lot of uh, shadow information to the gun itself, there are some moments where it's annoying where it covers up art or something like that. So for example here, if you have artwork on the handle, it can definitely be blocked uh, by this black smudge or the grippy parts on either side of the gun. So I'll show you a quick little trick that you can do to get rid of this black stuff. So let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to find out what is exactly causing this black stuff. So what's causing this is called an ambient occlusion map that Valve has created before and uh, is applying that to every gun. So we need to find this in our uh, CSGO folder. So if we go here, if we go to our CSGO folder, which you can find in your Steam folder, um, you go into materials, you go to models, then inside models, you go to weapons, customization, and here you will look for your pistol, rifle, sniper rifle, shotgun, whatever it is that you're looking for. If you do not have these folders, make sure to check out my first tutorial, because in there I will explain exactly how you can get these folders in your Counter-Strike folder. So if we go into the pistol Glock 18, here we can see all sorts of VMTs and VTF files. However, we are interested in the Valve texture file called pistol Glock 18 AO. If we open this, we can see that there's this very weird looking texture, but this is exactly what we need. So we go to file, export, and then here we're gonna export it as the pistol Glock 18 AO. So if we come back in here, go to tutorial seven and open this in our Photoshop, we get this weird looking thing. So while editing the video, I realized that I went over this part quite quickly. So I'm actually re-recording this to be a bit more clear in exactly what actions I'm taking. So once we open the texture file that we've just extracted, um, we are greeted with this red, green, blue mess, which we don't really know what we're looking for. So an ambient occlusion map is black and white. However, there's no black and white in here. Um, the reason for that is because they're separated by channels. So we are actually interested in the green channel. So if we go to the channels tab right here and we click on green channel, we can actually find our ambient occlusion map. So there are multiple ways one can go about extracting this. You can take a picture of the whole screen, import that into your document, crop it properly, blow it up to size so it's exactly fitting and then you're good to go. However, I prefer the following method, which is a little bit easier in my eyes. Um, you hold control, you left click the green channel, and what this does, this selects all the white information here. We create a new layer, we make sure that we're completely uh, white selected, we use our paint bucket tool and we fill this layer completely white. Then we deselect that, create another layer, and we add a black background to it. And once we've done this, we are greeted with our ambient occlusion map and we can drag that into our original document. So I will go back to the original video right now. As you can see, it is 1024 instead of 2048. So we make this 2048. And now we end up with our AO channel on top of the actual texture. This is not yet done. Uh, in order to get this to work, we're gonna set this one to divide. Uh, let's see if I can find it here, divide. And as you can see, now all of a sudden there are these white spots instead of black spots. And that is exactly what we want. Because what we want to do is we want to cancel out the black by adding white on top of our design. So let's say you want to get rid of only these two side patches. You do like the black thing um, on the back. So how you do that is you quickly create a mask. You make that black. And with your brush, you simply paint 
some white in the areas where you want to remove this AO, just like this. Let's say we also want to get rid of the Glock 18 text on the top, so we do this, and voila, just like that. Now if we load this into our game, so let's export this. Um, import it here. We open the Glock texture. We save this for now under a different name because uh, you cannot reload the texture anymore since that is bugged. And now if we load Glock 2, which is our edited version, we can see that the black has been canceled out by the white. This is not a, like a 100% fix. Like you can still see the white a little bit, but this will definitely get rid of most of your AO channel problems. There are some cases like on the Tech 9 on the barrel where the AO texture or the AO map is completely uh, black like absolutely 100% black uh, with these things. So for example, we can see that here, this is completely black. We cannot cancel that out using this method, sadly enough. So you have to find a workaround around that. But these little black details around here, with this trick, you can get rid of it. So that was pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are now able to get rid of the AO channel on your weapon skins. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.